Okay. Okay. <laughs> 50 questions you've never been asked. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite candle scent? You go. You have an answer prepared for this, and I don't. Oh, yeah. I usually burn candles. The Yankee Candle... Oh, fuck. Midsummer's Night. <laughs> I was like, what is it called? <laughs> Midsummer's Night, that one. Okay. Also cottony ones. Nope. I like sandalwood. So that scent. I don't know if candles come in sandalwood scent, but I'm gonna go with sandalwood. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Or like things that are labeled like ocean breeze. But don't smell like oceans. Are you saying that because it's... No. Oh. I didn't... Yeah. Okay. But... Yeah. That person knows what's up. Apparently not. Sure. Two. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Gwen Stefani. Aubrey Plaza. What male celebrity <laughs> do you wish was your brother? Adam Scott. No, Matthew Greg Googler. I changed my mind. I'm trying to think of male celebrities that I think are really cool, but are not ones that I'm like, damn, they're really hot. That would be <laughs> awkward. I think you. Christopher Mintz class. I don't know who that is. Um, Carol. He's in Kick-Ass 2. Oh, that kid! Yeah, I love okay. him. I do know who that is. Okay. Um, four. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? <laughs> Over 25. Weird. I don't know. Less than 30. So maybe younger, maybe, maybe like Carolina's younger. Yeah, <laughs> older than 25, younger than 30. I'm probably not going to get married, so that's, yeah, yep. no age. Do you know a hoarder? Only people that have a lot of things. Yeah. I don't know that I would call them a hoarder because I feel like that's like an advanced level of level having stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, six. Can you do a split? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can't do that. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Kindergarten-ish? Maybe? I don't know. I think I was like seven or eight. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Childhood. How many- eight. How many oceans have you swam in? I've swam in one, but I've been in two. So I put my feet in the Pacific Ocean, but I think the swimming in there was too cool. Two? One? One. 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 <laughs> How many countries have you been to? Two. Three. Are you including the United States? Oh, ten. Is anyone in your family in the army? The army? Yes. Specifically, that, that person. Specifically, the, the, the army. army. Specifically. No, my grandpa was in the army. Oh, yeah, I guess no for me, too. My dad was in the Air Force, but I don't... Oh, wait. No. Nope, never mind. Nope. What would you name mm -hmm. your daughter if you had one? I like the name May. I really like the name Adelaide. I don't know if that's what I would. I don't really plan on having kids. I have Adelaide. Oh, 12. Sorry. I'm going to keep forgetting. Yeah, you're the even numbers. What would you name your son if you had one? For a long time, I've wanted to name my first son. Thor. 
I wanted for a while to spell it with the thorn, like the Icelandic spelling. Oh, word. But I wouldn't be able to do that in the United States because I don't really know what it meant. Because it's not the right name. Or the right alphabet. I like the name Max and Algernon. <laughs> You're just naming your rat, future rat names. Yep. <laughs> yep, pretty much. What you would name a rat if you had them. <laughs> when you have them. Oh. What's the worst grade you got on a test? I probably have gotten zeros. Yeah, on a test probably. Before. I'm sure yeah. that I've gotten zeros. Fourteen. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? I really liked Rocket Power, and I liked Doug. I watched a lot more Nickelodeon than Disney Channel. It really depends on like, how old I was. Yeah. There wasn't, like, an overarching favorite TV show. No, yeah, I don't think I have one of those really either. These are really long video. Wow, we're already at six minutes and we're not even halfway. Oh, well. What did you dress up? Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, go for it. I what did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? I don't know. That's really specific. I have no idea either. That's Who remembers stuff? Like, no. Yeah. Okay. Can I dressed up as Simba one year. I dressed up like a piece of gum <laughs> under a chair. That's my go-to when anybody asks about. Yeah. I dressed in all pink and then had my little white chair that I carried around. With me. <laughs> um, sixteen. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? I have read any of those. I read Harry Potter, all of the Harry Potter, and all of the Hunger Games. I read all of Harry Potter. I haven't read the Hunger Games, and I have read all of the books in the Twilight series. Carolina has never <laughs> read Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh, and Carolina has also read most of the Twilight series. That actually makes me feel a lot better about having read all of them. Yeah. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? Uh, I don't think one is better than the other one. Nope. And I so, already have an American accent. Yeah. 18. Did your mother go to college? Yep. My mom did not go to college. Yeah. My mom has two master's degrees. I don't know. She just got the second one recently. Oh, I think I remember, actually. Yeah, maybe you told me about that. Are your grandparents still married? Yes. Well, my mom's parents were married until they died. One of them is widowed. And... Yeah. Widowed. And my dad's parents got divorced. And his, my grandpa was married. Oh, wait, I guess my grandparents are divorced. But I've never met my real grandfather on my dad's side. So they're married to me, I guess. They're married to you? I've only ever known my step-grandfather. Oh. And I didn't know that he wasn't my real grandfather for, like, several gotcha. years. Like, until I was, like, in my teens. Oh, wow. At least. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, 20. Have you ever taken karate lessons? Nope. I have. I was kicked out um, in the first week because I didn't listen to when we were and we're not supposed to kick other people. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, do you know who Kermit the Frog is? I love Jim Henson. Is that the kind of question? Okay. Yes. Some people don't. Oh. It's like a cultural like thing. Yeah. Some people don't know. It's part of our culture. Jim Henson's part Still. of our American culture. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I got the reference. Um, 22. What's the first amusement park you've been to? Magic Kingdom. To Celebration Station. I remember, I don't know. Or is that a different kind of thing? I remember the first time I went to Disney. It was probably Disney. Disney we or SeaWorld? We There's went a to Magic Kingdom and MGM. There's a picture of me in a stroller when I was very, very tiny at uh, SeaWorld, so maybe SeaWorld. But there's I pictures of me when I was really tiny at Busch Gardens. What language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? French. I would like to just finish that, and just instead of being proficient, I could just be fluent, and then also Spanish. Spanish. Would be great. Yeah. Do you spell gray as G R E Y or G R A Y? Both. I it use, depends. I use E most of the time. Twenty. No. Sorry, I read question. one of your questions. Rude. Is your father bald? Yes. Not yet. We getting there? <laughs> uh huh. Maybe. Wow. You just ah, skip into the end. I didn't mean to. Okay. Bald father. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Twenty six. Do you know triplets? 
Yes, I went to high school with a set of triplets. I don't know any triplets. I don't think I've... Unless... No, I don't know. I went to a set of high school. Two of them were identical, and then there was a fraternal one. And then they had an older sister that was, like, a year older. That's an intense amount of babies in one. Mm-hmm. They didn't know. I mean, triplets were the second. Yeah. So they probably were like, we're going to have one more baby. And then they got a surprise. Yep. Okay. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? No. I don't like Titanic, and I've never seen The Notebook. I like The Notebook, so. 28, have you ever had Indian food? Yes. Yes. I went, my Not friend, often. um, Kushboo's family made her, the food at her sweet 16. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurants are not in Florida. They're very, like, specific specialty restaurants. Like, in New York, I really like Jekyll and Hyde, which is, like, a theater horror movie theme, mm-hmm. like, old school horror movie theme type thing. And then I also like Bus Boys and Poets, which we went to in Washington, D.C. I like Dean Street in New York. Dean Street and Bergen Bagels are my two favorite places that I went to in New York. And Harrison will always, like, if he's ever at Dean Street, he, like, takes a picture and sends it to me. Um, 30. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? Yep, we went there before the 8th grade dance. Do you belong to any warehouse stores like Costco or BJ's, etc.? No, but my dad does. My mom is a member of Costco. Costco, yeah. Um, 32. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Samuel Thomas. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. They never told me. I know my dad wanted to name me Sarah. For a very long time. <laughs> But my mom insisted that I be named after my daughter, or her oldest daughter's cabbage vegetable. So, I forget are. that name came from. If you had a nickname, have a nickname, what is it? T Roth. I had a lot of nicknames. I don't know if I have. Um, right now. I also had Rotho in middle school. Cade still calls me Mandark sometimes. I don't think I've ever known. Wilson, sometimes. Yeah. Um, 34. Who's your favorite person in the world? Uh, it's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Leslie Rice, because that's usually my standby for this question. Yeah, I... I forgot your cousin was named Butter. I'm just That's like, not his butter. name. <laughs> Food is not people. That's not his name. <laughs> I butter know, is I know, my family. I know, I know it's not his real name, but I forgot that you guys called him that. Yeah. Um, no, would you seriously. rather live in a rural area or the suburbs? Definitely rural over suburbs. Fuck suburbs. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. Nope. I would um, be cool living between them. Ah, uh, maybe. Or between the suburbs and the city. That's nice. A lot of, like, country built cities, like... Yeah. I'm into urban areas, too, but that was not a choice. 36, can you whistle? Mm. Have you been working on it? No, not anymore. I don't live with dogs like I did last summer. We, when we were first years, Taylor and I both could not really whistle, and I can kind of whistle now. I can I've gotten pretty good whistle at animals. I can't. I I want to learn how to do the like fingers whistle, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to learn that ever. I've tried. Do you sleep with a nightlight? Sometimes. Not really. It depends. My computer screen is my nightlight until it goes to sleep. Catherine found a really. Cool, I like have Christmas lights in my room. And I usually leave those on, but Catherine also found like a really cool like red light for me. To go oh, on. your little yeah. weird. Thing. It's got like squiggly things coming. It's really odd. It's so weird. But I have like a red glow. Next red glow. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Do you eat breakfast every morning? I like breakfast food. At it's, night. The, it's the time of day that is the morning part is the part that makes it. No, I'm not usually hungry. Anymore. Nope, not for a lot of food at least. Do you take any pills or medication daily? No. 
Nope. 40. What medical conditions do you have? That's like a personal <laughs> very question. very invasive. Yeah. That's why I haven't been asked this question before, because no one's gotten through with it. How many times have you been to the hospital? <coughs> for myself? Never. <coughs> I've been once for myself. I was brushing my hair and standing on top of a bathroom counter, and I slipped, and I fell, and I busted my chin open on the side of the bathroom counter. And I, I, I tried to hide it, and then my dad found me and I did stitches. I've never had stitches. That's why you don't stand on counters. And that's why you always leave a note. Dad, <laughs> I'm standing on the counter to brush my hair. Um, 42. We're almost done. Let's see if we can get there under 20 minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Yeah. Yep. I saw it in theaters. In my seventh grade course class, we watched Finding Nemo several times. I brought the Repeatedly. tape on our the um, one of the like, charter buses on our field trip to Animal Kingdom at the end of sixth grade, or the sixth grade, or the sixth grade like end of your field trip, because we had to bring movies that were rated G <laughs> and on VHS. That's the worst. Wow. That's oh yeah. Where do you buy your jeans? American Eagle. Yep, American Eagle. Definitely. They fit the best. 44, what's the last compliment you got? I don't know. I don't know either. The only thing that I can think of is not a compliment, and it's just my boss thanking me for calling him when I tell you to him. <laughs> he seemed really excited that I had called him to let him know that I had a situation to deal with at home and was running late. Oh, the clothes. Peter complimented me on my work ethic the other day. So that's the thing. Um, nope, that's yours. 45 is you. Oh, no, it's I not. just read the. I got it. Jesus Christ, Taylor, why do you keep stealing my questions? I don't remember. 45, do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Sometimes. I don't. Not usually. Sometimes. I'm trying to. When I do remember them, they are very, very strange, and I usually write them down. Yeah, I'm trying to get better about remembering. Because if you, like, write them down and, like, make yourself remember it, you get better about it. The mine are so scattered that it's just, like, not it's yeah. hopeless. What flavor tea do you enjoy? Lady Earl Grey is my favorite tea. I like chai tea a lot. Chai is pretty good. That's what I had. <laughs> um, 47. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? I have a lot of shoes. A lot of shoes. I have no idea. I am, like, a clothing accessory collector. And I don't get rid of things often. I have a lot of shoes. I also have a lot of shoes. I have one, two, three, like five that I've been living with this summer. The rest of them are packed up. Um, what religion will you raise your children to practice? I wouldn't. I probably won't either. It's not my business. Um, anyway. Before you how old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? I have no idea. It wasn't, like, a moment. It just, like, it happened. Oh, I found out. I staked out the Christmas tree and I waited because I thought it was my mom. And it was. Willie Spence. and I would sleep under the dining room table. We would, like, <laughs> try and stake it out. And then we would That's always cute. fall asleep and wake up there. That was really cute. Why do you have a tumbler? Because everybody moved from Life Journal to Tumblr. I used to have a melodramatic in their site. It is shitty at best. And that's what happened. It went down for several weeks, and everybody moved to Tumblr. And because these two guys that Boudinay was friends with have this really cool blog, and I found it, like, I found out that it was on Tumblr, and I was like, well, I want to follow this. Um, right. So I have to make a Tumblr so that I can follow it. It was really cool. It was called The Endangerment of the Cool, and they would talk to, like, these different, like, artists and, like, people, like, locally that were doing creative, like, music and art and, like, fashion projects, and, like, interview them and kind of just, like, that is pretty cool. Yep. They stopped updating. Cool. We did it under 20 minutes. All of these questions. No one's gonna watch this. <laughs> it's 20 fucking minutes. You should say something if you watch this. Sam's probably gonna watch it. Maybe. Hey, Sam. <laughs>